Pornography of war. What is the impact of war in militarism in society? How does it affect each one of us? My name is Namaya. I'm a poet, artist, and veteran. Since leaving the military many years ago, I have been an advocate for peace, peace building, and communities. I have worked with veterans in the Veterans Administration Hospital. I've worked with veterans for peace. I've traveled around the globe to sites of conflict and war, from Palestine to Belfast to the reconciliation in South Africa. I look at this question on the impact of war and militarism in society, something that affects each one of us. The United States spends between $1.5 and $2 trillion a year on military, approximately $150 billion to $200 billion in interest on war. But in the pornography of war, we examine what is the impact of military spending in the United States. Military spending is seen in the approximately 50% of Americans underinsured. It is seen in the youth of our nation, not educated, unable to afford college, vocational school. It is seen in the homeless, the 80,000 or so in Los Angeles. We have over 300,000 people killed because of COVID, unknown millions who will be sick for years with the residual effects we need to look at it as Dwight Eisenhower said in 1956 in his speech on the cross of iron. War is a life of perpetual fear and tension, a burden of arms draining the wealth and labor of all people, a wasting of strength that defies the American system. Every gun that is made, said General Eisenhower, every warship launched, every rocket fired, signifies in the final sense a theft from those who hunger and are not fed, those who are cold and not clothed. The world is not spending money alone, it is spending the sweat of its labor, the genius of its scientists, the hopes of its children. The cost of one modern heavy bomber is a schoolhouse in 30 cities. It is two electric power plants. It is some 50 miles of paved highway. We pay for a single fighter with wheat, with food. We pay for a single destroyer with new homes that could house thousands. This, I repeat, the best way of life the world has been taking. This is not a way of life at all. Under the cloud of threatening war, it is humanity hanging from a cross of iron. In this mixed media project called the Pornography of War, we hold this up. What is the impact of war in militarism in society? Our work is not against veterans. It is not opposed to those men and women who are serving. Instead, we stand firmly opposed to the military industrial empire.
this, the trillion dollar military, the biggest on the planet. When we were at Occupy Wall Street and in New York City, and we would be carrying around this trillion dollar penis down on Wall Street, people would say, this is obscene. And we agree, it is obscene to spend a trillion and a half, perhaps two trillion dollars. In Afghanistan, Yemen, all these wars over the past decade, over $4.89 trillion, over $4.89 trillion, almost $5 trillion. Civilians, 150 to 450,000 dead. U.S. soldiers, 6,828. America's oral fixation. As we witness gun massacres, Columbine, 24, Las Vegas, 58, Sandy Hook, where the killer walked into an elementary school, killed 27 children, Birmingham, 14, Fort Hood, Sutherland, San Ysidro, California, Aurora, Colorado, Columbine, Virginia, Parkland in Florida, Luby, Texas, Austin, El Paso, Dayton, and the list goes on about the madness of unregulated guns in the United States, automatic rifles, semi-automatic that can be purchased by anyone. We are a nation of immigrants and this is part of the human rights welcome, opportunity, bienvenue, madhaba, which in Arabic means welcome. Give me your tired, your poor, your huddled masses yearning to breathe free, the wretched refuse of your teeming shores. Send these, the homeless temper tossed to me. I lift my lamp beside the golden door.